Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your first Phantom, and as an example, I'm gonna use the LinkedIn Search Export Phantom. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is head on over to phantombuster.com and navigate over to our Phantom store. So you wanna click on Solutions and then Phantoms. Next, I'm gonna to go to the LinkedIn Search Export Phantom. Now, before I use this Phantom, I wanna show you that you can just click on this more and plus sign and go to our LinkedIn Search Export Overview page. This will give you a full rundown of everything that you can do with this Phantom. And if you click on the Tutorial tab, you'll get an in-depth tutorial on exactly how to set up this Phantom. But for now, let's go ahead and click on Use This Phantom. Now, the first thing you wanna do is install the Phantom Buster Chrome extension. So I can click on Install Chrome extension, and it'll take me to the Phantom Buster Chrome extension page on the Chrome Web Store. All I need to do with two clicks is click Add to Chrome, and add extension. Now you'll see that Phantom Buster has been added to Chrome. So now that I have the Chrome extension installed, what the Phantom Buster Chrome extension does is it automates actions on your behalf and connects to your LinkedIn account using a session cookie. So as long as you're logged into LinkedIn, it'll take that session cookie and automatically link it to your Phantom. So all I need to do now is click on connect to LinkedIn, then click save. Now here's where you tell the Phantom which LinkedIn searches you would like to scrape. And there's a number of different searches that you can use, but for now, I've already pulled up a people search for Phantom Buster employees. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the URL, select all and control C for copy. And then in the input section, I can go ahead and click paste. Now you can also just type in keywords. You can also use a Google sheet containing a list of keywords or LinkedIn searches, or you can use the URL of a CSV file containing the list of keywords or LinkedIn searches. As long as those Google sheets or C CSV files are publicly available, you can just copy and paste the link into the input section. Here's where I wanna tell the Phantom what search category. So again, I'm gonna use a people search, but you can also use a job search, content, companies, groups, or school search. So I'll go ahead and leave it as people search. Now I can choose which level of connection I wanna go after, and these are all optional. Below you have some spreadsheet settings. Keep in mind if you're using a spreadsheet, the Phantom will take the information found in the first column as an input. And if the Phantom should use a different column, provide the column's name below. Column names are not A or B, but rather the titles found in row one of the column. So since I'm just using a single URL search, I'll go ahead and click save. Now here is where you choose the behavior of your Phantom. Now keep in mind there's a limit to how much you can automate on LinkedIn, which we'll cover in another video. But for now, we recommend that you process a maximum of one search or 1,000 results per day or 2,500 if you have a Sales Navigator account. Now this number may be increased depending on how warmed up your account is. If you bypass this by too much, you will have to update your session cookie more often. You should always spread out your actions across several launches spaced throughout the day and during office hours where possible. Next, we wanna choose the number of results to scrape per search. For the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna change it to 10, but the default will be the first 1,000 results of that search. If the Phantom does not scrape all the results of one search during a launch, it will pick up from where it left off in the next launch. And then if you leave this section empty, the Phantom will scrape 1000 results by default. And then next, if you're using a spreadsheet, you wanna tell the Phantom the number of spreadsheet rows to process per launch. There's also some advanced settings down at the bottom, and you can also change the name of your results.csv file. But for now, everything looks good here. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. 
Now here is where you can choose to launch this Phantom manually, or you can choose to run it repeatedly throughout the day, keeping in mind the network limitations. So the power of using Phantom Buster is that it's all cloud-based, so you can run these phantoms uh, throughout the day and you can close your browser. You don't have to keep your browser open. Let's say I want to run this repeatedly and I want to run it four times per day. Next, I want to choose if I want to receive any notifications, but for now, I'm just going to keep it as none. And then in the advanced settings, you can also set up a proxy or use other critical advanced settings. But for now, everything looks good here and I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now I'm taken to the Phantom console page and all I need to do now is click on launch the Phantom. Depending on how many results you're looking to scrape, this may take some time. All right, so my LinkedIn search export Phantom has finished running. If I wanna look at the results, all I need to do is click on the I button under the results preview file. And here I can see all the profile URLs, full name, profile image, current job title, and all the details that I've scraped from that people search. If I wanna export this data into a spreadsheet, all I need to do is click on download CSV and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. Now, keep in mind this Phantom is set up to launch four times per day. So if you wanna come back later on in the day, uh, this spreadsheet will automatically update so you can continually coming back to this spreadsheet and seeing new search results. So that is how we set up our Phantom. If you wanna get started using this Phantom, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.